Hi! In this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons surrounding whether you should start an adaptation while being quarantined. Some of you may already be quarantined due to the viral pandemic and others may be in the future. So make sure you watch this video to the end so you have an idea of what course of action is going to be best to take for you. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of Polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. So at first glance being stuck in a house either alone or with family members does seem like a perfect opportunity to start a polyphasic adaptation. When you work from home you have the chance to designate the breaks to happen at times that suit you best, uh, which greatly reduces the impact that societal pressure has on your schedule. Also, if you are living with a family, you will be surrounded with human alarms uh, that can help you adapt successfully. We'll talk about that benefit more later, but let's get into the negative aspect of being quarantined first. The biggest negative aspect in this situation is of course getting sick. We made a few videos on the channel on the topic of getting sick, how it impacts your polyphasic adaptations, what happens to your body and how you should avoid getting sick in the future. One point I brought up in the last video that I mentioned is how sleep deprivation uh, actually decreases the potency of the immune system. What this means is that if you are sleep depriving yourself, you will fall sick more easily. Um, in that video uh, I talked about ways to counter that, so if you haven't watched it already, be sure to do it. The link to that will be in the description. So that's going to be the biggest counterbalancing factor in all this. You don't want to fall sick, of course, uh, if not for any other reasons than that it will ruin your polyphasic adaptation. Okay, let's get back to the benefits with starting an adaptation during the quarantine. As I already mentioned, you have fewer societal obligations and the potential for more human alarms. But you should know that uh, sleep deprivation will bring out the worst in you. If the situation escalates to you being in home arrest or that you won't be allowed to go outside at all, you'll be near your family members constantly. You will be forced to interact with them and if you're easily agitated, uh, it's not going to be the most ideal circumstance. Because of this, you need to have your family members agree with you attempting a polyphasic schedule. You don't want to make enemies with people who are living in the same house as you. So, uh, after you watch this video, uh, check out our video on how to prepare for polyphasic adaptations, because we talked about this situation a bit more there. Um, the link to it will also be in the description. But let's get back to the benefits of starting a polyphasic adaptation again. Another benefit of starting a polyphasic adaptation while being quarantined is that your life will automatically be more structured when you're up on a polyphasic schedule. Unless you keep a structured life, it's more likely that you will turn into an unproductive slob uh, when you're forced to stay at home for a few weeks. Unless you have some sort of external motivator, external drive to keep yourself together, your productivity may decrease tremendously. Of course we want to avoid that and polyphasic sleep has a great potential to alleviate that issue because you know your life is going to automatically be very structured. You're going to be waking up at the same times you're going to go to sleep at the same times you're going to have restricted blocks when you eat, when you exercise and everything is just going to be more structured. It's definitely an optimal situation to be in when you're in a quarantine. But let's get back to the negative aspects, okay? We've already mentioned the fact that you may get sick more easily and that family members can get on your nerves and that you can get on their nerves. But if you're stuck at home, you can't really go out for walks. Going out for walks is a way 
it's a great way to counteract oversleeping, and that's a huge potential being taken away. Okay, so to answer the question in the title, should you start a polyphasic adaptation while being quarantined? The answer is, of course, it depends. If your family is on board with you starting an adaptation and helping you out, uh, and you decide to hunker down in your house for a few weeks, you know, not meet many people that can make you sick, great, it's a great time to start a polyphasic adaptation. But if your family members are against you starting a polyphasic adaptation, um, and you don't have enough to motivation to do so, you know, maybe you don't have the full drive that you would need to have, and you're perhaps forced to go out more often, you know, uh, fetch supplies every now and then, this is maybe not going to be the best opportunity for you to start polyphasic adaptation. <sighs> so, analyze your current situation and take the best course of action depending on which situation suits you the best. Maybe you start an adaptation now, or maybe you do it later in the future. Either way, I wish you luck on your adaptations. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. If you have any questions regarding this or comments, please leave them in the description below, so we can hopefully help answer those for you. We don't want you to be left with a bunch of questions in these times. Okay, remember to nap well, people!